Hello lovely people. I welcome you once again to Bright and Clarish channel. This is yet another update coming from one of my subscribers. We are putting up a mini apartment for her for rentals. Aside that, she asked me to publish a vacancy that is available for those who are eligible to travel to the United States. All right, so let's dive in. On your screen right now is the various types of mini apartment that you can put up for rental in case you want to venture into rental properties okay it's a two by two bedroom three bedroom or a mini apartment which looks like a single room self-contained and this is a single room self-contained for young couples all right on your screen right now is a vacancy available in the United States. Madam Nesta Amo is my subscriber, okay, and she has asked me to publish this vacancy which is available in the United States. The husband works in this office and it has come to them that there is a vacancy available and they want to recruit people from Ghana. Amo Nesta is the same client that we are putting up the mini apartment for so after this publication i'm going to move on to the mini apartment that we are putting up for her in the meantime kindly go through the requirement and if you qualify please send her an email you must have a bachelor's degree in psychology social work sociology or education okay you might be 21 years and above you should have a valid driver's license, okay? And all that comes with it, the salary structure, everything has been stipulated. Please take your time, go through it. And once you know you qualify, okay? Once you know you qualify, please send her an email. The email is on your screen, amonesta at gmail.com. Please take your time make sure if you don't qualify and you have your son or your daughter okay or you know someone that qualifies please share it with them okay this opportunity is there for everyone once you qualify there's no way madam nesta will reject you okay she's a very kind woman very sincere and honest and it is so great that she wants to share this vacancy with we uh, Ghanaians, you understand? Her service charge for this is $5,000. This $5,000 only comes after you have been granted visa, okay? She will make sure, they will process everything, the documentation, and make sure you've been granted visa. Once your visa stamping is done, okay, you'll pay her her service charge of $5,000. You understand once you do that you get your ticket okay go buy your ticket and then all the necessary arrangements are done and then you head to the united states madame nesta and the husband are in new york okay and that's where the husband works in the same office where this vacancy is coming from so take this opportunity and inform family and friends and let's all travel once you're eligible, you're good to go. All right. So let's go back to Madame Nesta's mini apartment that she's putting up for rental. It is a lucrative business and a lot of people who are into businesses are really going into real estate rental properties. Okay. And recently you've noticed that people are using containers. You know, yes, it is faster efficient um, but I cannot say it is robust yes robust means it's strong I will go for concrete okay it depends on whatsoever vision that you have Madame Nesta is putting up these mini apartment somewhere in Kaswa near the Jai River if you know the Jai River you will know that a lot of activities goes on there there are a lot of container buildings already available and people are patronizing them. There are jet skis on the rivers and 
people are having fun right there restaurants hotels and whatsoever a mini apartment is one of the convenient or one of the kind that gives you that kind of freedom your privacy okay you you just log on onto the airbnb platform and you book it and they get you your room number and once you get there you get to the security post you mention your name and your key is given to you and you head straight to your room in most cases you have a security code that opens your door because you already know your room number you understand so you just head straight to the room and you don't talk to anybody okay so that gives you that kind of privacy you know without having anybody you know watching your back and whatsoever so it's a hideout for couples you know uh, lovebirds okay newly married people you know people planning to get married okay boyfriend girlfriends those who want to have fun for just a day or two these mini apartments are quite reasonable most of them go for three hundred dollars per night okay some are 250 dollars per night some are 400 dollars per night okay and the higher you go then it means that there are other amenities that comes with it are you with me so madame nesta has this vision where she wants to put up this mini apartment for rental and she has three identical mini apartment on the same plot and this is a 70 by 100 plot so you can have your architect design this mini apartment about three or four or even five of them it all depends on how they position this apartment it will fit on one plot and then you have a small parking area okay yes some couples do not have vehicles others do okay you can have a taxi services available for those who do not have a car you can have a dispatch riding okay also available okay all these are means of doing businesses whilst you're out there in diaspora okay so look into this and then try to do something you can also go for two bedroom apartment for rental there's no big deal so on your screen right now is an example of the mini apartment this is one of them okay so we're gonna have three of these on the same plot three of these with about two feet or four feet you know intervals from one uh, apartment to the other you understand so in this mini apartment we're gonna have the terrace which is the main entrance you have the porch and then you head into the hall okay from the hall you have the open kitchen concept okay which is an l shape concept kitchen okay it's going to be a glass partition you can have a block partition depending on the type of design that you want okay the finishing should be such that it would attract people okay so it could be a glass partition to the kitchen that's fine if just an open concept you don't need any partition in the middle okay and that's it and then we have the visitors washroom a small washroom okay and then from the kitchen you head straight to the back of the building okay at the back so there's going to be a sliding glass or perhaps a small door that takes you to the back of the kitchen and then there's going to be a staircase right from the hall okay right from the hall there's going to be a staircase going up to the bedroom there's going to be a very big bedroom up there with a walk-in closet and then there's a balcony this balcony has a glass sliding open for more ventilation okay and then prior to you entering the bedroom there's a small lobby where you can view the hall from above okay so it's going to be a void when i say void mean an open space okay yes so there's going to be a void where you can view the hall from above it's so beautiful so you can walk around and see the hall so there's kind of a small walkway okay that's going to be an l-shaped walkway where you can view the hall once you're up there and then you can head straight to your bedroom very simple unique and beautiful okay and um, this is good for lovely couples you know yes um a boyfriend girlfriend romantic couples whatsoever you want to call it it's so unique and as i made mention a lot of people are using containers for such purposes 
and if you're able to put up a structure of such kind this is for generation to come okay uh, yes containers you have to keep up with the maintenance due to rain it might corrode or rust you have to constantly be painting them and then do a lot of maintenance okay and the, the structure one can withstand the test of time and you can see madame nesta is applying every methodology that she has learned from the channel okay as you can see there's a ground beam those rods you see are all ground beams that helps in sustaining the structure when it's ready to sink are you with me i have all my artisans here the mason in charge here is michael fassa michael fassa is the one in charge here the carpenter superb fantastic carpenter joshua adam i love this guy uh, not for any reason but because of his creativity okay he's so unique you know you have people you know working on your roofing and they hip your roof such that you can even have a two three bedroom inside your roofing and that is wrong and you see the building looking so small underneath the roofing no we don't do roofing of such kind okay if you want to do your roofing make sure you get the right people either the roofing sheet company where you're going to buy your roofing sheet from let them do your roofing for you or you make sure you get a qualified carpenter look no further and contact joshua adam because his price is reasonable as compared to the roofing sheet companies you understand so he will do that for you okay the plumber he's a family member of mine mr frederick owusu and then we have the steel bender isaac gomado all these guys are here all right so as you can see madame nesta has applied the bitumen which is the black painting as you see this black painting prevents dampness okay for those who don't know it prevents dampness dampness is such that when you have moist or water in the soil okay it eats up the block and it affects your painting upon completion of your structure in most cases you find yourself in your bedroom and you see that your painting are peeling off and your blog work is also peeling off they are deteriorating okay these are the cause of dampness the blog is wet because there's a lot of moist or water in the soil so in order to prevent that from happening we use the bitumen some people use um, concrete uh, a chemical they mix it with the mortar and then they do plastering instead of doing the bitumen painting they either do plastering of the footing block work you understand so you have options whichever way you want to go it will save you so madame nesta is so intelligent and she's applying everything that i've i've mentioned on my channel you see the ground beams these iron rods as you see these are all ground ground beams okay it helps the structure from cracking you know when putting up structures after some time the building will now settle down it will sink down and then sit properly in doing so you might end up having crack in the footing block work to avoid that from happening you need a ground beam along the surface of all your structure if you're putting up a six bedroom a five bedroom mansion house you need ground beams they're very very important so kindly incorporate them in your you know in your building structure okay it has been compacted nicely now from here we're going to do plumbing work after the plumbing work and then we're going to put the dpm the down proof membrane okay we're going to put that on the surfaces and then we cast the concrete you understand and then after the concrete we are going to erect the pillars here erecting the pillars we employ mr abroqua the gentleman who has the steel plate for all the pillars and the decking and your pillar modes he was the one that did this for her madame nesta also uh, did her own borehole okay yes she contracted a drilling company to drill a borehole for her to to provide continuous water not only for the construction but for the um after use that is after the construction as well okay so the borehole company is what i've you know indicated on the screen 
uh, borehole company is crystal borehole drilling company limited they are very good i contacted them years ago and they even charged me eight thousand that was i think 2020 in the year 2020 okay and now they are going eleven thousand five hundred so the cost of drilling the borehole for madame nesta is eleven thousand five hundred it depends maybe you can begin to eleven thousand it all depends on the area okay how deep you want them to go how rocky is the place all these factors are you know considered during the seismic survey before drilling they have to do a survey so in this survey will determine how they're supposed to charge you understand and how deep they have to go how salty is the water or the soil or whatsoever all these will be considered okay so contact um crystal borehole drilling company okay and to see what they can do for you so we are ready all the identical mini apartment um, are ready compacted nicely okay and ready for plumbing works after plumbing works from here you have to go step by step you can't skip one and leave the other so after compacting we go for plumbing okay and after the plumbing then the dpm the downproof membrane the black rubber is laid on top and then the carpenter will put the board along the peripheral which is called the facial okay and after that and we're going to cast the concrete for the oversight concrete and that is what we call the oversight concrete okay so madame nesta again i want to say thank you for this opportunity we are so grateful that you trusted us and trusted the artisans and giving them the opportunity uh, madame nesta also included the architectural draft man who did the design and also she she brought um, a well-learned engineer also to assist the mason michael fasa to making sure that everything that had been stipulated in the drawing is exactly what michael is doing and it's so interesting that everything went well regardless uh, even though there have been some ups and downs it's all part of the work are you with me and at the end of the day we arrived at exactly what the architect has designed and wanted us to do so this board is what we call the fascia okay the carpenter has to do this in order for the concrete to be retained so this is what we call oversight concrete for those who are taking notes uh, please write them down so if it is your dream house you're putting up is the same procedure this is going to be your oversight concrete okay yes right after here then you move on to what we call the superstructure the superstructure you can either start with the block work or you can erect all the pillars all the way to the lentil and then do your decking right after the decking you can come back later and stack in the blocks okay there are so many ways of killing a cat you can either start with the blog work all the way up and then do your decking so this all depends on how you want it all right yeah so here we bought the poly tank we have our borehole already available so there is constant water it is always good to have water at your site for those watching in case you're putting up a project and where you are uh, water is very scarcy i suggest you start with borehole first or you can either have a tank you can have a poly tank and then make sure that there's constant water available because if we are all drilling the earth is going to suffer there's going to be another earthquake whatsoever after a period of time so the drilling shouldn't be that much we should limit on the drilling but since we don't have water <laughs> our water companies are down uh, we don't know what to do so let's debate on that all right so this is how madame nesta want her settings okay this is how there's a step down somewhere okay yes so this is how she want it and it looks beautiful it looks beautiful all right so madame nesta again i want to say thank you for this opportunity um, if anybody is out there and you want us to undertake your project for you please do not hesitate to contact me my email will be after this video okay you can send me an email and then we can exchange contact 
and then you can share your drawing with me if you don't have a drawing you can contact jonathan tete okay or any other architectural engineer that you know of if you don't have any then jonathan tete will be available let me know and i'll help you or link you up with him and you can do so all right in case somebody needs a spreadsheet you know most people request that i give them a spreadsheet for a four bedroom or a five bedroom house okay the spreadsheet is going for 50 dollars if you're in the uk it's going for 50 pounds okay but those are the two currencies that we are charging okay it's not going to go for free all right yes the free free is too much all right so in case you need a spreadsheet i think it's not that much most people even give me 50 dollars just for an appreciation purposes not necessarily for the spreadsheet but they just want to have the spreadsheet to guide them you understand most people need a spreadsheet to guide them so if you need a spreadsheet it's going for 50 dollars and that's the number you have to use to to send the money that's my email right here bright antonio at outlook.com send me your request and we will take it up from there okay so lovely people thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed please do so now all right do so now from me to you it's shalom god bless you wherever you are bye bye